This summer, I faced a decision whether to seek a second term as president. It was a difficult decision. Being president has been the honor of my life. There's so much more I want to get done. As much as I love the job, I love my country more. I decided after 50 years of public service, it's time for a new generation of leadership to take my nation forward. Progress toward peace will put us in a stronger position to do with the ongoing threat posed by Iran. Together, we must deny oxygen to, ter to its terrorist proxies, which have called for more October 7th and ensure that Iran will never, ever obtain a nuclear weapon. We also need to uphold our principles as we seek to responsibly manage the competition with China so it does not veer into conflict. We stand ready to cooperate on urgent challenges for the good of our people and the people everywhere. We recently resumed cooperation with China to stop the flow of deadly synthetic narcotics. I appreciate the collaboration. It matters for the people of my country and many others around the world. We're also working to bring greater measure of peace and stability to the Middle East. When I came to office as president, Afghanistan had replaced Vietnam as America's longest war. I was determined to end it, and I did. It was a hard decision, but the right decision. Four American presidents had faced that decision, but I was determined not to leave it to the fifth. It was a decision accompanied by tragedy. Thirteen brave Americans lost their lives, along with hundreds of Afghans in a suicide bomb. I think those lost lives, I think them every day. I wanted a, a, uh, the bust of Martin Luther King, who was one of my heroes as I was coming up as a young civil rights guy. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, and we're honored to have him with us as President Joe Biden. Nice round of applause for Joe. Um, you know, sometimes I'd hear the, where's Kamala? What's Kamala been up to? What is she doing? And I'd take it. You know, just take a deep breath because, well, she's been doing a lot. She's been doing a lot of things that are solving problems that matter to you and the rest of this country. She's dealing with the thorniest national security issues in the Situation Room and thorniest issues in the Oval Office with the President. She has 